beautiful. Hello, my beautiful creation friends, Comfort here, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, you are highly welcome. On this channel, I teach simple crochet DIYs and recycling tutorials. So you might consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Today I want to show you how you can crochet these simple and beautiful slippers by yourself at home. The first thing we are going to do is to insert our beads into our knitting thread. So you carry a needle and thread and insert your bead into it. So you insert your bead into your knitting thread just like this. And for the insole, I'm not going to start showing you how to do insole on this video because I have done a detailed video on how to crochet insole for beginners. I'm going to put the uh, link to the video in the description of this video. So please you can check it if you don't know how to crochet, how to cut major and crochet your insole. You can click the link in the description to learn how to do that. So after inserting your beads into the knitting thread, you are going to remove the needle and make a magic ring. Wrap your yarn around your two fingers and cross. Insert your crochet hook and pull this one through. Use your two fingers and hold it down then pull these fingers out now you make chain one and you have your magic ring so the first thing we are going to do after the magic ring is to make four single crochet in the magic ring so you insert your crochet hook wrap your yarn around the hook and pull through pull through two in case if you don't know how to do single crochet, I have some tutorials on crochet for beginners. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. We have two, three, and four. So you can adjust your ring from the tail here. Just draw it. So we'll make chain one and turn. Now we are going to start knitting our beads. And in the first row of the bead, we have four beads. So you push four beads down. Insert your crochet hook, push the bead this way. Wrap your yarn around the hook and pull through pull through two push the next bit insert your hook wrap your yarn around the hook and pull through pull through two you have your second bit insert your crochet hook push the third bit Wrap your yarn around the bead and pull through. Pull through two. And insert in the last place. Push the last bead. Wrap your yarn and pull through. Pull through two. Now we have four beads on our work. So you do chain one and turn. To do the second row, we are going to make increase in the first loop 
and the last loop. The reason is because we want to have six beads in the third row. So we have to do increase. So you insert and make two single crochet. One, two, In the last loop, remember we are going to do an increase, so you make two single crochet in that loop. One and two. So you chain one and two. Now we are going to use six beads. So you draw six beads. Insert, push the first bit, wrap your yarn and pull through. Pull through the two loops. Insert and push. So you repeat that until you finish the six bits. Make chain one and turn. On this row, we have six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are still going to make increase again. On the fourth row, you make two single crochet in the first loop. One, two. No mask, one single crochet in the middle. And when you get to the last loop, you make two single crochet. One, two. So we are going to have eight beads in the next row. So you chain one and turn. Push eight beads. Make chain one. And turn. So if you count, you see that we have eight bits on this row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are going to do the last row of increase in the so that in the next row we'll have 10 bits. So in this first loop, make two single crochet one, two. Then no more one single crochet in the middle. When you get to the last one, make another two single crochet. Chain one and turn. Now we are going to use ten beads. So you push the first one and knit. After the last one, make chain one and turn. This time around, we are not going to have any more increase, so we are only going to maintain our 10 10. So you just make single crochet all from beginning to the end. 
make chain one draw 10 10 beads and knit it just like the way i've been knitting and you keep doing that until you get to 18 rows I'm going to show you one row of without increase so that you can be able to do the rest I didn't make any increase on this row make chain one and turn and draw 10 beads Make sure you always remember to push the bead first like this before you knit if not you find yourself knitting without the bead so at the end make chain one and turn so we have one two three four and five rows so what you do now is you are going to make four more rows with beads and four more rows without beads all in all we are having nine rows of bead and nine rows without beat please you just keep repeating the same thing until you get to the end okay so far let's see what we have here you can see the inside is just smooth while the back has the beat then you make your last row without beat just make single crochet to the end so at the end of this last row of single crochet we are not going to cut off our yarn we are going to do single two single crochet in each of these pieces two single crochet in each of the spaces here so we'll do it round to this end so you look for this space here insert your crochet hook and do two single crochet go to the next row So you keep repeating the same thing until you go around when you come to this opening of the magic ring just do the single crochet inside the ring one two three then this please make two one Repeat the same thing you did on the other side to this end. So after the last single crochet here, we are still going to repeat another single crochet, but we are not going to use the front loop here. Rather, we are still going to use this loop behind and do single crochet all through. okay now we are going to start this ruffle by the side you can see it we have some ruffle by the side of the beads so we are going to start it what we'll do is you make 
six single crochet in the same space I've done one so two three four five and six skip one of the loop you have to raise it a bit so you can see it here is another loop here so you are going to skip this very loop here and insert your your six single crochet in the next one so we skip that one and make six single crochet here one two three four five and six okay you can see how the shape is coming out so you skip the next one which is this and make another sing six single crochet in the next one so that is what you keep repeating round until you come to this side when you come to this place you can make four single crochet to make it straight like this then you resume your six single crochet skip one six single crochet skip one so you repeat the same thing to the end and I told you you need to raise it up so that you can see the one the next loop here which you skip and make six single crochet in the next one skip one six single crochet in the next one until you come to the end so at the end of the last row we are going to cut off our yarn why the excess thread behind so at the end of the day you can see how it comes out we are still going to do one more row of ruffle stitch but before then we will have to do our sides first so we are going to use slip stitch and attach the yarn and make the sides so to reattach our yarn one two three four five from here we'll attach the yarn and make slip stitch after you insert and pull through insert in the next opening wrap your yarn and pull then you pull through the previous one insert wrap your yarn and pull through pull through this one insert wrap your yarn and pull through pull through this insert in the last place wrap your yarn and pull through pull through this so at the end of the day we have four spaces one two three and four so we are i'm going to cut off the yarn now then we'll come back and make Two single crochet in each of these places making it so you remember we started this slip stitch from this side but on the other side we are going to turn it this way we'll start from here down so we'll count one two three four five in this open spaces is where we are going to insert our crochet hook so insert your hook slip stitch pull your yarn like this 
insert it in the next place again yarn over and pull through pull through the first one insert it in the third place yarn over and pull through pull through the previous one insert yarn over and pull through pull through this one we have three so you do the last one insert yarn over and pull through pull through the last one so we have four spaces one two three and four we are going to cut off our yarn hide the excess one behind so we we'll start the single crochet now you see these places that we made slip stitch inside your crochet hook there yarn over and pull through yarn over insert in the same place again yarn over and pull through pull through two insert yarn over and pull through pull through two so we have two single crochet there now insert in the next piece you can cut off this yarn so that it will not uh, bother you yarn over and pull through pull through to one insert yarn over and pull through pull through two we have two places left so you insert yarn over and pull through pull through to one insert yarn over and pull through pull through two and do two more single crochet in the last piece one and two you do chain one and turn Keep making single crochet in all the loops. Chain one and turn. So it's just one single crochet you keep knitting. We are going to make a total of 23 rows on this side and 23 rows on the other side of eight single crochet so please you keep repeating the same thing we are going to meet at the end so i didn't make up to 23 rows again after sizing it on my shoe mode I discover it's going to be okay at 19 rows so the 23 rows would have actually been a bit excess but it will lap here but I just decided to leave it this way so you are going to do 19 rows here and 19 rows by the other side all single crochet remember we have already done the slip stitch so all you need to do now is to do two single crochet in each of these slip stitch places these places we we'll do two here two here two here and two here making it then you continue making single crochet until you reach 19 rows so now that i'm done with the two sides i'm going to do one single crochet round and to start insert it here and attach it to this ruffle down like this mm. 
make one single creation. So you just keep going around. So after the single crochet round, you can see how it's looking so clean and beautiful. Okay, now the last thing we are going to do on the top of these slippers is the last ruffle. So to make the last ruffle, you remember when we are doing this first ruffle, we are skipping one, one loop. So the second ruffle, we are going to do it in the one loop space that we skip. It's just here. The one loop space is here. It's here. So the second ruffle is going to be in that space. So you insert your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through. Pull through the loop. One. Two. Three, four, and five. So you locate the next place, which is here. One, two, three. and five the next place is here one two three four and five that is the second row of the ruffle as you can see it here so you keep repeating the same thing until you reach the last place here just be searching for that space that we're skipping and be making five single crochet in it at the middle here where we did not do any ruffle just do your normal single crochet when you come to the ruffle side then you start again. So after the second ruffle stitch, you can see how it looks. So I'm going to show you how we are going to do this front part. We have this place from the magic ring we did. So we are going to insert our crochet hook and knit through that hole. So I'm using black yarn. Attach the yarn. Attach the yarn. I make four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn.
Genoa Anton Genoa Anton so you are going to make a total of 12 rows of single crochet and stop. So after the 12th row, the last row, cut a long yarn. Do not cut your yarn short. Like this. Slip stitch. So we have the two here and we are going to cut 2.5 centimeter 2.5 is exactly here so you cut So we are going to punch the place where we insert this on our insole, just like this one here. All to we'll do is you carry your shoe mode and put it this way. Use your crochet hook and put a mark down. see the mark here after that we are going to use our hand puncher and punch it so you just insert your hand puncher to that place Insert your crochet hook and pull through the knitting yarn out. After inserting it and drawing it tight this way, we are going to turn it. And apply our glue to it I'm going to let it dry before we join so we're going to heat it up with our heat gun So this tail we insert it here so you just manipulate and tie it after gluing it down So after gluing it and tightening it this hard, next thing we'll do, carry our shoe mode and insert it so that we can get the right Measurements. So now we are going to use our needle and thread and attach this place. We'll do same here. 
using needle and thread we attach the two sides So I keep repeating the same thing until you sew it all and repeat same on this side. So after I finish sewing the sides, we are now going to attach it to the outsole. So we we'll apply glue here. So after applying glue and letting it dry, just like this, when it is dry, you discover it's not gluing to your finger. I'm applying heat to it because I'm using chemical glue. Make sure that you set it very well. Before you start gluing it down. I'm using chemical glue because it is one of the strongest glue and is good for this type of work. So at the end of it, this is how our slippers is looking so beautiful. I really love it. So please, if you love this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Bye bye and God bless you.